Hello, in this video we're going to be covering a hypothesis test on a sample using a normal distribution, sampling distribution. Um, it kind of, I've chosen it because it kind of takes a few little points that I've been making in previous videos, which you should look at if you, um, or at least you should understand what we mean by unbiased estimates for mean and standard deviation. You should know what we mean by the central limit theorem. And you should know also how to have, uh, do uh, perform a hypothesis test using the normal distribution. Okay, so I'm presuming that. Uh, so it's, this is not by no means a walkthrough. It is a rust through, if you like, of a few things that we've covered or should have covered in the previous videos. So um, the first thing is let's set up our hypothesis. It's about a machine producing paper of thickness. Uh, 56.80 micrometers or at least we're presumed that's the presumed mean under our null hypothesis we don't know what that it's that but that's what we're testing and our alternative hypothesis is that it's not that there's no it's it's one tail because there's no indication of two tail uh, an increase or decrease in this so I do if there's no indication of decrease or increase then we go for one tail uh, go for two tail test we need a two tail test sorry if I said one tail it needs to be two tailed here because we're not testing whether it's increased or decreased um, in the hypothesis so it's two tail uh, let's define the mean where mu is mean level it, where mu is mean thickness of paper produced by the machine produced by the machine okay Right, we need to work out, uh, before we actually do the hypothesis, we need to work out what the actual uh, estimate for, the, what, what mean values for X bar we've got. Um, so the value for X bar is equal to, that's uh, what the mean of our sample is 56.80 divided by 300. That equals to... 56.95 right now and for the standard deviation or the variance uh, we need to be let's do work with the variance we need to be using the n minus 1 formula because it's a sample okay um, so, because it's an unbiased estimate of the sample, it, it doesn't make that much difference to the number, but they expect you, um, they expect you to understand that because we're dealing with a sample, uh, we must uh, use the n n minus one formula. Now, the way I normally do this is times by the ratio three hundred over two nine nine of the sum of the squares so that's sigma x squared that's the nine seven three eight four seven point zero take away this number squared and that comes to two point eight six three seven Remember, that's the the um, estimate for the variance, not the standard deviation. The standard deviation is obviously the square root of that. OK, right. So now we need to do our hypothesis test on Z. Let's just write our distribution. Um, we're the sampling distribution. normal um the normal dis is it's normally distributed approximately because the size of the sample um the x is normally distributed with mean 
because that's our null hypothesis because that's what we're testing against and the um, variance we're going to because we don't know what it is we're going to have to use this as an estimator for our variance so that's 2.8637 but divided by the sample size so that's 300 that's our variance remember not our standard deviation or standard error the standard error therefore is the square root of that which is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution which is the square root of 2.8637 over the square root of 300 Okay, so uh, now we can use our test statistic. So we use Z is equal to whatever our X bar take away the mean over the standard error. Now, we're, we don't know the standard deviation, but because the sample size is big enough, we're, we're going to use our estimator for it. So that's x s squared over the square root of 300. Now, for those of you who've done t distribution, the student t test, you might think, well, this is a case where you should use it, but we don't really need to when the sample size is so big. So, um, and we can't use a t test anyway, thinking about it, because it's a rigid, it's not um, a rigid, We're not told it's normally distributed, so we're using the central limit theorem and uh, t-test wouldn't work anyway uh, because of that so it's normal distribution so now we look uh, we're dividing by s squared or s over the square root of n we would use sig we would use sig if we knew what the standard if we actually knew with certainty what the standard deviation is we would use that but we're we're presuming because the sample size is 300 that our uh, that our sample uh, standard deviation of our sample is, is going to be close to it and we're using s because that's going to that's unbiased okay so that's our test statistic here so then we uh, find what that is now our value of x bar was actually equal to 56.95 take away 56.80 which is our presumed uh, mean and under our null hypothesis divided by our standard error which is 2.8637 over 300 that's this here so that comes to 1.535 Okay, now this is where we kind of, I, I always like to draw the standard normal distribution and just kind of shade in the region and find in the values. Remember, we're two-tailed here, so we want 5% each side. I'm going to use the calculator to work out what the uh, value, the kind of critical values is for, the, uh, for this Z thing. So we then go to inverse normal. Uh, we can go 5%. I can either put 0.95 or, uh, or 0.05. I'm going to get the negative value for 0.05 in. Let's do that. Uh, standard deviation 1. Uh, mean 0. The key value is minus 1.644. Okay. 0.6445 to 3 significant to four significant figures and so it would be 1.6445 uh that side right well we've got the value one point for our value is actually let's just write it in here our value is 1.535 so let's write that in let's write that in that's less than the 1.6445 in order for it to be in this part of the tail which is what we'd need to reject the null hypothesis so the 
uh, conclusion is do not reject H0. There is insufficient evidence to suggest the mean is not is not fifty six point eight zero. that it's wrong because it, if we go back to the original wording of the question the original way the question was posed a machine is designed to do that test at 10 percent significant whether the machine produces paper of the designed thickness so we could say of not the design thickness um, that it's uh, that it doesn't do the design thickness that is wrong Okay, so there you go. That's a, a thing. So I, I chose as a, that as I say because it brought together a few things. It's not perfect because we didn't know the standard deviation, so we had to divide by this uh, this thing S here, which was uh, unknown. But with a large sample size, it is justified for a variety of reasons, and in particular using the central limit theorem. Okay. We'll stop there. Bye.